Okay, in this video we're going to talk about finding double integrals um, where the bounds are constants, um, which means that you're kind of integrating over a, re well no, you're definitely integrating over a rectangular region in the xy plane. Um, so let's take a look at an example. Um, so we have the integral from 0 to 1, the integral from 0 to 2 of x plus 3 and then dy dx. So I'm trying to color code everything for you. So if you look at the integral, you see that the bounds 0 and 1 are actually x values. Um, because they go with dx. They're kind of like nested integrals. Um, and then the bounds 0 to 2 are actually y values. And um, by the order of operations, what we're going to do is we're going to work from the, the innermost integral and then out. So first we're going to do dy and then we're going to do dx. Um, so let's uh, get started. Um, so we see dy. So we're going to get the integral from 0 to 1 of. So we're integrating everything with respect to y. So the integral of x with respect to y is just going to be x times y. Um, and then the integral of 3 with respect to y is going to be plus 3y. Um, and then what I like to do here is, because it gets a little confusing, uh, we have to, it's, a, it's actually a definite integral, so we're going to plug in now. So I'm going to do such that y equals 0 to y equals 2. So I like to say what variable it is, so I don't just put numbers there anymore. Now I'll say y equals 0, y equals 2. And then uh, close it off. And it's still, we're going to ultimately do an integral with respect to x. So this is all on the inside of an integral. Um, so this we can do. Um, so 0 to 1. So you're plugging in 2 for y, and then you're plugging in 0 for y. So we get 2x plus 6. And now it's just a normal integral uh, that hopefully you're really familiar with. So we go through, we do it, and we get 7. So um, that's the value of that double integral. Let's take a look at another one. Um, so it's going to be 2 to 4, and then 0 to 1 whatever, and then dx dy. So x comes first and then y. So again, I color coded it as best I could. Um, so first, uh, it's 2 to 4 with respect to x. So we're going to integrate this thing with respect to x. So the integral of x squared times something is just uh, 1 third x cubed times that thing. So we're going to get 1 third x cubed times y. And then uh, there's nothing else. So it's going to be x equals 0 to x equals 1, and then dy. So I like to do my such that and then put the variables. Uh, that would be a tip that I would definitely recommend you follow. And so now I'm going to plug in uh, 1 for x and then 0 for x, get a new integral that's only in terms of y. So I get 1 third y dy. Um, and then I have to integrate that and plug in. So I get 1 sixth and then 16 minus 4. Um, so I get 12 over 6, which is 2. So it's really not that bad, it's just uh, you have to be very organized about your work and you have to constantly keep thinking about what am I integrating with respect to and therefore what, what's not really a variable, what's being held constant at that time. Uh, let's take a look at another one that's a little more challenging. So 0 to 1, 0 to 1, dy, and then dx. But the integrand here is x over the quantity xy plus 1 squared. So that's a, a much more complicated integrand. Um, so uh, 0 to 1. And then it's going to be with respect to y. Um, so I look at this thing, and I think to myself, this kind of, like, if that were just, uh, imagine it's just 1 over the quantity y plus 1 squared. Um, that would kind of feel like u substitution. So I'm actually going to do u substitution. So u equals uh, the denominator, so xy plus 1. And now I'm going to find uh, du, but by taking the derivative with respect to y. So um, du is x times dy. So if you look at the integrand, like that first integral that we're doing, which is the integral from 0 to 1 of the integrand dy, uh, we can rewrite that as just du over u squared at this point. And then I know how to integrate that. That's negative 1 over u. Um, so really what I've done is I've kind of like done all the work at this point. So now I'm going to go back to the original problem and write it in terms of the original problem. So um, doing the indefinite integral gave me negative 1 over the quantity to the first, and then it's y equals 0 to y equals 1, and then still dx, so we're, we're only halfway through this integral. Um, so we get that. Now we're going to plug in y equals 1. So it's 0, 1. So y equals 1 gives me um, negative 1 over x plus 1, and then it's minus, now I'm going to plug in 0, so I get negative 1 over 1, so minus 1, and it's dx. This is now a normal integral, so I can just kind of do it. Negative natural log of the absolute value of x plus 1 plus x from 0 to 1. And I'm going to plug in 1 and get that. And when I plug in 0, it all just zeroes out because the natural log of 1 is 0. 
Um, so there you go. That's three examples uh, where we had rectangular regions. Um, so I hope this was helpful, and uh, good luck.